referee Ronnie Campbell of Widnes got a very difficult weather conditions on his hands for this game it's wet it's windy and Neil Holding slides the ball along the floor looking to use those damp murky conditions floodlights already on but I'm sure they're going to be one or two stars light up this game this afternoon Henderson Gill reacting there to interference of the play of the ball Wigan in the traditional cherry and white hoops unusual to see a Lancashire Cup final being played on one of the contestants home ground but such is the size of the crowd here approaching 30,000 that Wigan was one of the few grounds that could hold it and St Helens in unusual colours blue for them They're wanting a good scrum feed and Meningo to cut to touch just put him in the corner Helens had a leisurely training session this morning at 11 o'clock just to check everything, check the fitness, came through well. Tony Burke, crashing for An early try to St Helens. Or, oh, Meninga going for the line there, he's got Day with him. Oh, is he over? Yes, he's over! Oh, magnificent piece of play from Mal Meninga. The Australian import who's done so much to rejuvenate this St Helens club the ball today people thought I thought myself that he'd done the wrong thing but when you're 16 stone and you're 6 foot 3 you can do what you want 5 yards from the line and he did a good try so St Helens already 4 points in the lead and only 6 minutes gone in the 25 Randy Pat. Tackle from Wigan hooker number nine, Nicky Kiss, just forced himself back into the team in the last couple of weeks. Benner looking for the gap, gets Burke. If these St Helens forwards can run off these half gaps that Pinner's creating, there'll be opportunities to Allen. Oh, good dummy from Lipshot, he's got gap here, he's got space, he's got round with him. Now then, can round make it to the line, he can run this boy. Oh no, I think he took the wrong opportunity, he turned to the right. Good tackle again by Graham West, but he should have kept going. Now St Helens with an overlap, oh! Harry Pinner took the ball with one hand, and he had a five-man overlap, and it would have been a certain try. Well, to Pinner. Oh, beautiful ball from Pinner. He's got round inside him now, can he get to that line? Ferguson's with him, oh, good tackle from that flying wingman. Well, that Australian wingman from Eastern Suburbs. But he's over, and a try, yes! A try for substitute Roy Haggerty, he puts his finger up in the air. The St Helens crowd, that section in the crowd, go wild with delight. And good thinking there from Roy Haggerty, he came up like an express train, took the ball and there was no stopping him. So St Helens even further in the lead, 10 points to 2. And all credit to that man, he read the situation well. <laughs> Harry Pinner and Malman Inga there now, really working the side up. another good kick well this youngster Sean Day signed early in the season from the amateur club culture really repaying his feet 12 points to 2 St Allen's take the lead many people We've had some good handling up today because that ball is very wet, very greasy. Conditions are not the best underfoot. To Meninga, oh, but strong, bullocking. Oh, beautiful ball today, and he's got him away. And that's what class rugby is all about. Well, St Helens paid an absolute fortune for this man, Mal Meninga. They hoped they would get it back. But with tries from centre play like that, well, he must rank amongst the world's best.
credit to the kicker here now, this youngster Sean Day. He took his opportunity well. It was a clear run, but you've got to score them, and he did. A difficult kick here now. Those two tries for St. Helens in the last five minutes certainly put them in the driving seat. He's taken the ball back a good way. And he's got it! Oh, wonderful kick! A pressure kick from a youngster like that. Off the touchline, I thought he'd turn it back a little bit too far, but he knew what he was doing. And it's two points. And who would have thought that St. Helens would go into a lead 18 points to two? St. Helens have that extra yard of pace, I think they're more content to move this ball out, not containing it in the pack down midfield, their runners, the, the back three of Pinner, Round and Platts, coming out wide. Oh, good ball. This is where it's going, but Ninger again, he's got the pace, he's knocking him off, he's knocking Edwards off, and he's in! Oh, what a try! Well, he knocked them off with absolute contempt, did this man! He handed off the centre, and poor young Edwards, only 18 years of age, confronted with a man as big as this, well, he stood no chance. And another four points for St Helens. Meninga's made two. <laughs> 22 points to two, and what a game this man's having. the St Helens section of the crowd they're going wild at this score I don't think anybody ever expected a score like this in the first half three tries in nine minutes can this youngster day repeat the kick again he does, it's high and he does oh, oh. nothing's going wrong for the lad four goals in six attempts Meninga again, all oh, chip over the top. Oh, oh. Good tackle on Youngster Edwards. And Henderson Gill. To Cannon. To Stevenson. Ferguson. Very elusive lad, this. Scored some excellent tries since he. He joined Wigan, six tries already this season. Sean Wayne. Wigan must be desperate now to get back in the game. But not to the second half. There's the hooter. And who would have thought that we would be going in for the first half in this Lancashire Cup final with a score like 24 points to two in St Helens' favour. And that man of the first half, Mal Meninga, well, he scored two himself.